morning guys. It's Thursday. I'm just getting ready to eat some breakfast. I got the urge to paint our hallway upstairs. It is still one of the places that has not been painted. And while it's not gonna look great with the stairs and everything, it's gonna look better because it still has like a white border on the top from when they did the ceilings. So I'm gonna try and do that. And I need to get the boys to breakfast as well. They're playing with Legos right now. But that's kind of the plan for today. I'm also gonna try and give you guys a few tips as far as trimming goes. I've had a lot of questions um, when you have watched me cut in with my paintbrush, with my dark paints and everything. I'll try to give you my best tips that I have, so stay tuned. Okay, so coming upstairs, here's what I'm talking about. You can see it's kind of the original tannish cream off-white color. And yeah, the stairs, or the railing, they're in desperate need of something else. Eventually, we'll replace the floors and put, you know, trim and stuff down and then we want to put a whole new railing in here, which I'm really excited about. But that's a pretty major task and it'll be pretty majorly expensive and stuff, so we'll need to kind of save up for it. But they had done this wall here when they did the main walls, my dad and Nick. So I don't have to do this one, but you can see the trim is still cream colored. So I'm gonna try and paint that as well, I think. Although I hate painting trim when it's by the carpet. The boys are feeling better except for the coughing. They're just constantly. <coughs> Kaden, you don't have to cough on cue though, okay? <laughs> I'm just using off the shelf white from Home Depot in the Bear Premium Plus Ultra. This time I had gotten it in satin. Most of my other walls downstairs I used this same white, but I used it in the matte finish. However, I needed to paint a couple doors, so I wanted a little bit more of a sheen to it. This is my favorite paint, I would have to say, because it's very thick and it goes on very good. My dad does a lot of staining and um, some painting and stuff, and he uses this as well. He says it's great. Okay, so let me just say, I have had some experience painting. I mean, it does take practice and it's something I don't mind doing. Hang on, let me close the door here. It does take practice, but the key to being really successful at trimming without having to tape everything is having a good brush. And you guys, I found it. I think it was when we moved down here or before we moved, I had picked up another one. I used to use the ones that have like the little blue stubby end on it and I got this one it's a Worcester um, I'll show you the package I saved it just for you guys it's a Worcester Pro all paints and stains it's a nylon polyester one and it's a two inch trimming brush and the thing I like about it it is incredibly flexible like that is just that's super important in my opinion is having something that's really flexible because when you're trimming you're going to be like flexing it against the wall i can show you in a little bit but i don't know something about it this brush has just amazed me it goes on really smooth and i cannot say better things about it um i feel like two inches about the perfect size bigger it gets more bulky and it's a little harder to maneuver. They also get a little thicker. So if you need a brush recommendation, try it. I will go ahead and link what I can down below if you are looking for one, but you can pick them up probably at any home improvement store as well. just sent me a text with 39,999. <laughs> I'm so close. I know I'll be over 40 by the time you watch this, but I am just really grateful, you guys. Thank you so much for wanting to subscribe to just a little former Amish girl. <laughs> I'll see if I can do this without too much background noise. <laughs> No promises. Um, it's a little hard to see because the wall is already light colored, but 
I wanna try and show you a little bit how I go about when I do trim, in case you're wondering. So first of all, I don't like to have too much paint on my brush. I kind of wipe it down and make it really smooth and tight if I can. That's another good thing. If the brush is not too bulky, you can kind of um, squish the ends together. And then basically, I hold it like this, and your angles may change if you are um, going you know, along the top of the ceiling, but I kind of hold my brush at an angle and squeeze it, kind of feather it out, and then just go really slowly, especially if you have a dark color. Right now, it really doesn't matter, so I could go faster than this, and put your paint on thick enough, like don't make it so that it's just really thin. So have it thick enough, but not too thick. I don't know if that's gonna make sense. Hey, yeah. My hands are literally like cramping up almost. <laughs> I've had them in this position for long. Keep holding the container with one hand and the paintbrush in the other. It's taking a long time to do all of this trimming because I'm ending up doing most of the jams like in the rooms and I'll probably need a second coat. So the trimming is gonna be the main thing today. The rolling won't take long and that's my favorite part because you know, you see the most result. <laughs> One tip I have when you're rolling, resist the urge to go back over it once you've painted it. And I've done this a lot in the past and I think that is what causes streak marks. My mom has told me that a couple times already to not go back over it. And I know sometimes it's hard, especially when you're using maybe a foam brush. You really, I, I've struggled with doors and stuff, but especially on walls, just once you've painted it nice and easy, don't go back over it because that's what's gonna go cause your streak marks because it dries a little bit and then it'll leave a little mark and that kind of thing. And also, the less pressure you put on your roller when you're rolling, the better. If you push too hard, you are gonna inevitably make marks and so that's another thing that comes from mom is just don't push hard, just roll nice and easy, put it on nice and thick if you can. And that's what I like about the bare paint. It's really, it's really thick. So I pulled them in here because it's raining.
Hey guys, it's the next morning. I did not finish filming last night. I had to wait to put the doorknobs on until this morning, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what the hallway looks like. I know it's not like a dramatic difference or anything, but to me it feels a lot fresher, it's brighter, and I also put some stuff on the walls. So I feel like that warms up the space quite a bit. I just like how it looks. It's just kind of a little bit eclectic and boho, and that's kind of the style that I'm going for. I am happy with everything. I don't know how long the doorknobs will last. I've never spray painted these types of doorknobs before, so we shall see, but everything I had was something I had on hand. I feel pretty good about it. And in the, I kind of like doing things in phases, as in if we can't do the full thing right away, I might as well make it look the best I can in the process. So I know that this, to me, updates the space a lot, just having black doorknobs and the doors themselves aren't the best job either, but for the type they are, I'm okay with it. And if I would ever want to upgrade them, I could do what we did to the front door, but I doubt we will because eventually we'd like to get same doors throughout. I hope that you guys uh, enjoyed the tips I gave you and I hope they're helpful in some way. And also that it just inspires you guys to try something on a really tight budget, spending very little money or no money. Um, just doing little things like this can make a big difference in your home and I'm excited to have knocked off one of the projects that I was kind of pushing off and just dreading to do because it wasn't necessarily a fun and dramatic project if you will so I'm happy that it's done I also developed a head cold last night I guess it's the stuff that the boys have so I'm not feeling 100% this morning <laughs> but I'm probably gonna take it a little bit easier the rest of the day, but I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you're new, consider sticking around, hitting the subscribe button. And that's it, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. May God bless you, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.